This year, I'm participating in Extra Life to raise money for Johns Hopkins Children's Center. Why? Because they saved my daughter's life two times. The first time was just within a few days of her being born. Um, they found out that she had um, something wrong with her intestines and they did a life-saving surgery. The second time was when she was two years old. And again, an intestinal issue that they found and uh, with a quick and easy surgery, uh, they were able to uh, fix her up and save her life once again. Um, she had the, the same problem that she had actually was uh, what killed one of the BGs. Um, so it's one of those things that if, if left undiagnosed, um, it just presents as so many other things. And so, you know, it was great that the doctors they were able to figure out what it was and give her the surgery that she needed. So any amount that you can give will help because any amount will help Johns Hopkins be able to have um, better facilities or provide for people that can't afford it on their own. Um, I do have um, rewards for higher donation amounts, which you can see on the Extra Life page. But um, just anything you give uh, would be really helpful. And also, um, they um, have it so that you can donate uh, monthly instead of all at once. So if you don't have all the money now, but you know you want to give a large amount, you can do it that way. Um, thank you so much for watching this. Um, thank you for um, any donations that you can give. And thank you for supporting John Hopkins uh, Children's Center through Extra Life. Enjoy the stream. Welcome to Eric Plays Go Go Nippon, my first trip to Japan, session two. Um, so here we are, and uh, when we left off, the girls were asking me if I have a cell phone, which would be an interesting thing to ask me because <coughs> um, I would need a SIM card or whatever for it to work, assuming they used the same type of radio, CDMA or G GSM that I use. Um, but uh, <coughs> other than that, I'm just going to keep on narrating and having some fun with the uh, voice acting, such as it is. A cell phone? Yeah, I have one that does international roaming. <laughs> I see. That should be okay. What do you mean, okay? <coughs> do they have scare quotes in Japan? <laughs> if you didn't have one, we could rent one at the airport. I was going to recommend renting one, but... I think you'll be fine using your phone. Okay, then. Let's head to your... Wait a minute. Huh? What? Take this! Huh? This is a card? What the heck? This is called a Suica. Suica? Yeah. How should I explain? A prepaid transit card? <coughs> prepaid? Come on, man, don't be such a dum-dum. We have that here in DC, too. You top up the value on that card, then touch it to the ticket reader at the station. It automatically deducts your train fare. It's a convenient thing to have. You don't need to calculate the fare to your destination or worry about buying tickets. <coughs> wow, Suica, huh? Sounds convenient. <laughs> There's another type of transit card in Tokyo called PASMO, but it works the same way Suica does. However, Suica can be used all over Japan, while PASMO can only be used in the Kanto region. So there's PASMO and Suica. I'll have to remember that. <coughs> there's one more thing to watch out for. A Suica or PASMO alone isn't enough to get you on a special express train. If you want to ride the special express, you need to buy a separate express ticket. My brother Dan knows all about this, I'm sure, because he went to Japan and goes to all the baseball stadiums there. I see. <laughs> Anyway, you can easily buy Suica or Pasmo cards at the appropriately labeled ticket machine. See? Wow, I see. It even has Suica written on it. How convenient. Looks like you changed the language of the ticket machine to English, so even non-Japanese speaking tourists can use it. Yes, that's true. Hmm, okay. I see I can use these machines at the top of the card too. That's right. Do you want to try? Sure, I guess I'll add 5,000 yen. Let's see, press the touch panel, change the English display, um, choose the amount of charge, insert the money. Whoa! Woohoo! I did it! <coughs> Very well done. You should now have 5,000 yen worth of cash stored on your card. Uh, anyway, shall we finally head into Tokyo?
Sure. How do we get there? Let's see. There are several ways, but the best method might be a special express train called the Narita Express. So, here's a special express ticket. I bought it for you in advance. Aww. I've heard that Narita is probably Narita. Narita Airport, you can buy a bargain set with a special express ticket that comes with a boarding ticket and a Suica card. <coughs> but only foreign travelers are allowed to buy them, so we couldn't get one for you. Oh, don't be so sad. But I guess this time we'll just have to do it this way. Yeah, uh, thank you. Anyway, let's use our Suica to get on the train. Just remember that if you're going to use Suica to ride the Special Express, you need to go through the station attendant's gate. Got it. Then I better get my Suica ready. It should be in my wallet. No need to take it out of your wallet. Huh? How am I supposed to use my Suica? Just bring your whole wallet close to the machine. <laughs> I'm not sure he believes you. We have that in DC as well. If you think we're putting one over you, just try it. It really worked. I didn't believe them at all. A card you can use while it's still in your wallet? It's like magic. Apparently this dude's never heard of RFID. <coughs> Just touch your wallet to the IC terminal and... Oh, it made a noise. That must mean I can pass through. This is so useful. I don't even have to take it out of my wallet. It's really fun. Dude, relax. Whoops, no time to get lost in thought. I need to give my special express ticket to the station attendant. Great, now I can ride the Narita Express. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the train's about to leave. Come on, hurry up. <coughs> huh? Uh, wait a second. Come on, hurry up. We're going. W w wait a minute. Don't pull me so hard. I wonder if they only drew these two girls or if there's going to be any other people in this world. <laughs> Whoa. We're here. So this is Tokyo Station. So, to pass out... To pass out? Hold your Suica up to the turnstile terminal. Ah, some numbers appeared on the screen. Ah, I see. Must be the train fare and cash remaining on my card. Here we are. This is Tokyo Station. This is... Wow! This is a train station? Guess it must be since we got in a train after all. Oh my god, this dude, he would freaking die if he went to Grand Central. <laughs> but there's so many stores and restaurants and souvenir shops. <coughs> this is less like a station and more like a shopping mall. With train shopping mall with trains. What's wrong? Oh nothing. I was just thinking how big this station is. That's true. Even Japanese people get lost in Tokyo Station if they're not used to it. Wow, I see. There are 14 lines in the station, including subways and bullet trains. 14 lines? Well, yes. It must be really huge. Oh my god, the jokes I'm thinking of in my head. Anyway, we'll be boarding the subway now, so you better keep close to us. Huh? Where are we going? Where else? Our house, of course. Oh, no. Right, uh, I forgot we're going to your house. It's already so late. We'll have plenty of time to show you around the city tomorrow. Thanks. I appreciate it. It's funny, with all the facts that they're always telling me, I wonder if this was created by, like, the Jet Tokyo Tourist Board or something like that. It's really funny. <laughs> okay, we're here. This is... Yep, this is the closest station to our house. And apparently they have a Whack Arnold's there. Which, uh, if you've seen Coming to America, you'll get that joke. <coughs> yep. And also, every time I've ever played a game like um, Bubble Bubble, whatever, it was always an upside-down McDonald's. <coughs> the closest station to their house? I guess I'll be coming here a lot over the next few days. Anyway, it's quite late. We'll head to the straight home tonight and show you around tomorrow. Wow. This is the town where Makoto and Akira live. Even so. What's wrong? You look so disoriented. It's just a regular suburb. It's not that strange, is it? It sure is. This stuff is completely foreign to me. What? What's so foreign about it? Well, like that vending machine over there. It's got juice. 
and cigarettes. That's true, but so what? That's the kind of thing you see anywhere. <laughs> it absolutely is not. I don't think you'd find that anywhere but Japan. So I would agree with him, a machine that sells juice and cigarettes. But I've seen cigarette vending machines, and I've seen juice vending machines. So I don't know. This dude's kind of, I don't know, weird. Really? <coughs> really. At least, that's not how it is in my country. I guess there could be other countries with vending machines out on residential street corners. Anyway, there's so many stores open this time of night. Hey, look at that. What store is that over there? That's a konbini. Konbini? It's short for convenience store. You can buy things like food and magazines there, even household supplies. They're open 24 hours, so they are really convenient. That's one thing I, I, I always find fascinating about J Japanese, how they take these two words and combine them and make these other words. That, that seems very unique uh, compared to here. A 24-hour store that sells all that within walking distance? All right, whoever made this game definitely never has lived in New York City. <coughs> well, yes. <coughs> these girls are looking at me like I'm crazy. But there's so many 24-hour stores and vending machines around. All these things that would never exist outside Japan, except in any major city. But when I think about it, I guess it's a sign that it's a really safe area. <laughs> That's Japan for you. <laughs> Here we are. This is our home. Come on in. My parents, or my grandparents, actually had furniture like this before. I've heard you're supposed to leave your shoes by the entrance in Japan. I guess it's true. Japanese-style dining rooms have a tatami area, too. I'm glad I remembered to pack my good socks. Tatami, soft mats used for flooring in traditional Japanese rooms wearing shoes or slippers on tatami is a big faux pas. <laughs> It'd be embarrassing if I hadn't. This is the living room, and that's the kitchen. Please make yourself at home. Thanks! In exchange, you have to not make a mess. Uh, I won't. That's right. Anyway, let's go to your room. This is a Japanese-style guest room. Will it work for you? Hmm. Um. What, is my guy, like, hoping he gets to sleep with her? What the heck? <coughs> wow! Huh? A tatami room? A Japanese-style room? That's amazing! I can really stay here? <coughs> um, mm, uh, yes, well, this is our only guest room, so... Yes, it's been my dream to stay in a tatami room! Thank you! You know, I used to also have this uh, dream, but it seems to me it'd probably be overrated, especially with how... Um, for me, it's I'm very particular about the surface that I sleep on, and... So I doubt it would be so awesome for me in real life. But I used to want to really want to sleep in one. <coughs> I see. I'm glad you're happy about it. Anyway, as long as you're here, you, th you can think of it as your room. Make yourself at home. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Makoto. What? Um, where are your parents? If I want to stay here for a while, I'd like to introduce myself. Our parents aren't here. How old are these girls supposed to be? What? Um... What did you just say? Our parents were called out of town for two weeks on urgent business. It's a shame. They really wanted to meet you. I'm sure they did. Let's meet the Gaijin, who's gonna be here with our daughters. So I'm afraid they won't be back until after you've gone. I'm really sorry. Anyway, I have to help with the dinner preparations. Could you wait a few minutes, then come to the living room? Uh, sure. I wonder if there's going to be any, um, choices to this. So, um, Analog, I hate story, had lots of choices, lots of things you could do that would affect, it had like four or five different endings. Their parents aren't here. They won't be back till after I'm gone. In other words, the whole time I'm in Japan, the only ones in the house will be Makoto, Akira, and I. That, how is that going to work? Dude, relax, man. No way. I mean, it's not like I've done anything to feel guilty about, but... I have to stop thinking about this. They've been nothing but good to me. I 
can't betray the kindness they've shown me. I'm not going to think about that stuff anymore. I won't think about it. I won't. I'm a gentleman. A gentleman, a gentleman, a gentleman. This reminds That reminds me of the speech that um, John Travolta gives himself in Pulp Fiction when he's um, going to go pick up the boss's daughter. <coughs> wow, but check out this spread. The table's covered in food. I know, right? Aki-chan's been slaving over it all day. <coughs> what? <coughs> I, 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 was not, I was not slaving over anything. Sure, sure. I won't say anything more then. You really should be more honest, hmm? What's wrong? N nothing. I just... Hmm. Is it that surprising to hear I prepared all this food? Oh, this is like the whole tomboy thing that's in all the anime and manga and so on and so forth. N n not at all. I just didn't expect it. That's the same as being surprised. Th that's true. But either way, Makoto seems like she ought to be the cook in the family. Stereotypes, stereotypes. Anyway, I don't care if you're anxious about it. You don't have to eat. I'm not anxious. If you've been working on it this morning, I have to eat it. I, I, I told you, I didn't per particularly hard on it. Now, let's toast to your first day and our first meeting together. Uh, cheers. Cheers. Come by. There's plenty of everything, so please eat your fill. Okay, uh, uh, that's right. There's something Japanese people would say before eating, isn't there? Before eating? You mean... Ooh. Eta etaka de masu? Yeah, that's it. Okay, one more time. Etaka de masu? Etaka de masu? <laughs> huh. Um, nom nom. How is it? Hmm. It's great! This is amazing! Isn't that nice, Aki-chan? Well, why are you saying that to me? Because you're the one that made it. That's true, but... Your cooking's amazing, Akira. I can hardly believe it. So you think I don't look like a cook, right? That's, that's not what I'm saying. If this was anime, she'd totally be beating the crap out of him all over the room. <laughs> really? You really weren't thinking that? Of course not. To tell the truth, I was thinking a little. Hey, uh, giant from Jax, what's up? I like your little extra life icon there. Oh, shoot, I forgot to run the, uh, extra life thing on Bobber. There we go. Oops. My bad. Uh, how did that just get messed up? That's weird. I just opened up, uh, Brian's, uh, donation tracker and things got a little screwy. Just give me one second here. See, I guess I could just load this up really quickly in the stream. Because right now my, my stream is covered with another window that I opened up, so I just want to make sure it's not looking like that for you guys. It is looking like that. What the heck? Alright, so much for that. I'm going to turn this off. Let's see, that didn't fix it, though, did it? Let's see. Gosh darn it. Oh, it's like in front of everything. Hmm. Oh, Psh. silly me. I see what happened. I see what happened. I had set the donation alert to the different window and things got screwed up because I didn't open it on in the right way 
I think we should be good now. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for uh, thanks for showing up, Giant from Jack. Sorry, things got all screwy once you got here. I just realized that I hadn't uh, I hadn't been running the extra life stream helper. There we go. Just move that to the side. Tracker. There we go. See, that should have been set to that. So I take that there and change this to the that one. There we go. That's what it was. Put that right back. Go back over here. Donation alert. There we go. Anyway, back to the game. So if I haven't completely lost you with my uh, silliness, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm kind of just uh, um, reading the game in a <coughs> dramatic way, just to make it a little fun. <coughs> hmm. Uh, there's still some left. Hmm. The food. There's still some left, so you can say if you want more. Akira. Hmm. Sure. Thank you. I wonder if, like, if there's ever going to be any choices like there was an analog, or if this is just going to be following a story, following a story, following a story the whole way through. <coughs> <sighs> the food Akira made was sure delicious. And I even got to take a Japanese-style bath. The washroom is kept separate from the bathtub. I guess people here really do use the bathtub for daily relaxation. I never thought a bath could feel so good. I was even more surprised that you could fill it with hot water with a touch of a button. <coughs> you know what? I would love that in the in my bathtub if I could just fill it with in one shot. <coughs> they say you could just touch a panel in the kitchen and it fills hot water to the proper level. Japanese people are obsessed with the idea of the bath. But it feels so amazing. I can't exactly blame them. <coughs> Ah, <sighs> wow, the heat from the bath made me so sleepy. Now that I think about it, I didn't sleep on the plane at all. I can spend a nice night on my futon. But before that, I should charge my cell phone. Good thing I brought an A-type 100 volt adapter and plug for the Japanese outlets. Like I said, I feel like this is like almost an instruction manual. <coughs> now to set the charger. Okay, this should do it. I'm gonna make the most of my day in Tokyo tomorrow. Tokyo, huh? I wonder what's waiting for me out there. I've got to fill the album of my mind with all kinds of sights and information. It's gonna be so much fun. And day one begins. Hmm. Huh? What is this room? Where the heck am I? Huh? I know! I'm in Japan! Last night, I achieved my dream of coming to Japan. It's not a dream. This is totally real! I'm in Makoto and Akira's house in Japan. And today I'll get to look all around the city of Tokyo. Which means I can't afford to sleep in. I better get up fast. But first. Bathroom, bathroom. <laughs> Japanese toilets can't be so different from. Uh. Man. I would install this toilet in my house in a minute. <laughs> or maybe not. What the heck is this thing? There's all these random buttons. What are they supposed to be? Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Okay, I'm gonna push one. It's not like it's gonna explode on me or anything. Okay, here we go. Switch on. Hmm? What is this? It's like a warm breeze blowing up from deep inside. <laughs> Why does the toilet blow wind at me? Okay, I'm gonna push another switch. 
Take this. <coughs> huh? What the? Now there's a nozzle rising up in set. Ah! What the hell? There's water shooting out. Wait, has this guy never seen a bidet in America? Come on now. <laughs> Someone make it stop! <laughs> you don't have to laugh so hard. But, but, I wasn't expecting a crime distress so early in the morning, let alone to find you drowning in the toilet. There's only one... There's no way I can keep from laughing. <laughs> oh, Aki-chan. Really, it's rude to laugh so hard. You're one to talk. You're laughing too, Oni-chan. Which means older sister. What are you talking about? I'm not laughing at all. <laughs> <coughs> what was I supposed to do? I don't know anything about all those toilet functions. <coughs> Who would have thought a toilet would wash your butt after you do your business? Again, this exists in America. They blow hot air to dry you. That I have not seen in America. Japanese people have crazy ideas. But once I used it, it really did feel kinda nice. <laughs> What's your cat's name, uh, giant? I'm sorry for laughing. Everyone makes mistakes. It's okay. Now that I think about it, it was pretty funny. <coughs> sure. It's best not to hold back and laugh when something's funny. That's right. And it's nice to hear her laughing after she was so put out yesterday. <coughs> anyway, here you go. I made breakfast for both of you. Hooray! Honestly, I've been starving since I woke up. Let's see, the breakfast menu is... Ooh. Salad, bread, and eggs. This is... I was kind of hoping for a more Japanese-style healthy breakfast, but... I thought you might prefer a more familiar kind of breakfast. What do you think? Oh, uh, sure. That's right. This is about what I usually eat. Thanks. Wait, this dude eats salad for breakfast? Who eats salad for breakfast? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> well then, I guess we'll eat. Sure. We say, Itakadamasu, right? Itakadamasu! <coughs> oh man. <coughs> this game is a blast. Oh, speaking of which, what do you want to do today? Have you decided where you want to go? Where I want to go? No, I was going to think about it later. Where do you recommend? To be honest... I was thinking maybe Akira or I might accompany you. What? Just the two of us? Yeah, one of us has to take care of the house with our parents away, so we couldn't both go. That seems like bullshit, but okay. <laughs> yeah, and we're on break from school right now, so it shouldn't be a problem for Oni-chan or I to take you around. Seriously? That's great! I would appreciate the help. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. So, I know it's sudden, but where would you want to go? Hmm, let me see. Where would I like to go? Ah, I know. First off, Oni-chan, can I have a minute? What is it? Just come here. Uh, you stay put for a second, okay? Uh, sure. Well, there they go. What was that all about? Oh, well, I guess I'll just wait for them here. Hmm, they told me to wait, but it's been five minutes. What on earth are they doing? Sorry about that. Sorry for the wait. Oh, there you are. What on earth? Ta-da! <laughs> I love this. Look on the older sister's face. <coughs> Welcome to Misaki Tours. Uh, what's up with the outfits? <laughs> this is what tour guides wear when they show people around. It really gives that touristy air, you know? Oh, honestly, Aki-chan, did you make these clothes while I wasn't watching? Huh? You made those clothes, Akira? So that's two things that she does that's not tomboyish, despite looking tomboy. 
in terms of Japanese stereotypes, at least according to manga and anime and so on. Yep, that's right. She must be really skilled to make things like this. <laughs> I guess Aki-chan was looking forward to your visit. She even made our tour guide clothes. The, that's not it. That's not why I did it. <coughs> oh my, you're blushing. <coughs> Akira. I, I said I'm not. Grr. Uh, anyway, here, let's pick our itinerary. <coughs> did you decide where you want to go? Oh, yeah, more or less. Hmm, I thought I was going to get to pick. I wonder if I still do. Let's see. Okay, would you like to choose a region? A region? Let's see, I want to go... In the game, your travel expense will be shown on the screen as you travel. The train fare will also be shown on the screen. For convenience, all travel expenses between their house will use the same fare as traveling to the Okay. <laughs> so, this is the first time the game has given me an option of something to do. So, <coughs> there's... A Asakusa, Akihabara, Ikekoburo, Ginza, Shibuya, and Shinjuku. <laughs> so, if this was me in real life, I would either want to go to Akihabara or Shinjuku. Um, I'm going to say Akihabara. Let's see if they have, um, at least within the world of the game, if they have all those um, like video game stores and stuff there. I want to go here. Wow, if you're going there, I'll take you. You, Akira? What's wrong? You want an Oni-chan? That's not it. I don't have any problems going with you. It's fine. No need to force yourself. I I I'm not forcing myself. I'd be really happy if you show me around, Akira. Hmm, I see. Very well. Then I suppose I'll do just that. Anyway, you pack up for the day and I'll get ready too, okay? Gotcha. I thought Akira might be in a bad mood again for a minute there. Thank goodness we avoided that. <laughs> if we're going to spend the whole day together, I'd like us to have fun. But I can't just stand here thinking about it. I'd better pack. Shall we be off? Sure! Oh, I know. Hey, do you mind if we stop by a Combini? Combini? Oh yeah, a convenience store. Sure, I don't mind. Thanks, we'll stop by one at the station. Erashiyamase! A ritual greeting used by shop. Oh, okay. I've heard this in anime before. They've got books, food, magazines, even some clothing. This is nothing like the convenience stores in my country. Dude's never been to an ABC store in Hawaii, I guess. Gonbini are awesome. What are you looking at? There's just so much more for sale than I expected. I mean, look at this. They sell little cakes and even food. Wait, does this guy not think cakes are food? Food? Oh, you mean the bento? Bento? I never knew there were so many types of bento. Yeah, the bento you buy at Combini are also known as Combini Bento. Sure, of course, why not? There's lots of different types, and they have a new lineup every week or so. There's some people get along eating nothing but Combini Bento. A new lineup every week? That's amazing! That's unthinkable in my country. Hmm, this is... What? What's wrong? That's... That's a figurine from the popular anime. The Jap Japanese convenience stores even sell these things? You buy a lottery ticket for 500 or 1,000 yen and get the figure it says. Oh, so you win these in a lottery. Ah, but can't you l lose in a lottery? You can't lose in a lottery. You might not get exactly what you want, but you always get something. I see. As long as we're here, do you want to try it? Hmm, sure, let's try it. Hmm, gotta get money out of my wallet. Oh, here, let me give you a tip. A tip? What is it? You remember the Suica you used to ride the train? You could use it to buy stuff in certain Konbini too. What? Seriously? Yeah, why don't you give it a try? Hirashiyamase! Ah, I like a ticket in the lottery? That'll be 500 yen. 
Ah, I'd like to pay with my Suica. Please hold it up to the terminal. Wow, I see it has Suica written on it. I guess I'll hold up my card here, just like at the station. Wow, it really works. That's amazing. I can really pay with my Suica card. Okay, please pull one lot from the box. Oh, sure. Um, Ah, here we go. Is it... Yes, let me see. I'm so nervous. An F prize. Your prize is a plastic folder set. A plastic folder set? The F prize must be the lowest price possible. It's still not bad, but... I really wanted a figurine. Okay, I'm going to try once more. Excuse me. Stop! Huh? Let me remind you that our day is just getting started. Do you really want to have to lug more stuff to our destination? Oh, I understand how you feel. Let's save it for later, okay? Phrasing. Yeah, you're right. Oh well, I'll just have to come back while I'm here in Japan. Thank you. All right, so I'm gonna do a say. I'm gonna do a real save here. Let's see. Uh, save right here. All right. So um, thanks for watching. Um, it was kind of a short stream, about half an hour, but um, have some stuff to get to um, today, um, tonight. I mean, um, thanks for joining me, Giant from Jax. I always love it when I have people in the chat. Um, that always makes the game a lot more fun. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to come back on later tonight, but I'll probably be um, playing this game again over the next few days till I finish the game. So if you enjoy my um, acting, <laughs> if you will, um, you can definitely catch it. Or if you miss it, um, I always post everything to YouTube afterwards anyways. So um, thanks for stopping by. Um, Giant or anyone else who happens to watch this now or later, um, if you can give any amount to my extra life, um, it'd be great. I can, you know, get a little higher, a little bit closer to my goal. But um, if not, that's cool too. I just love when people come and enjoy the stream. So either way, enjoy. And thanks a lot for, for coming by.